Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Evan with a WBZ News update. Our top stories, a bicyclist was killed in Alston after being hit by a garbage truck earlier. Happened about 10 a.m. on Hanno Street. We don't know the name of the victim right now, but his relative tells us he's a 21-year-old from Honduras who worked as a cook and loved to play guitar. And police are investigating the accident. Also, researchers at Mass Eye and Ear are reporting the first pediatric case of vocal cord paralysis following a COVID infection. The 15-year-old patient visited the emergency room at Mass General with symptoms of respiratory distress nine days after a COVID diagnosis. Doctors then found both of her vocal cords seemingly paralyzed. Researchers believe COVID caused the paralysis after an extensive workup revealed no other cause. Yesterday's powerful storm left quite a mess across the area. Over 1,000 people uh, 100,000 people are still without power. There is still so much to clean up. Redding Fire shared these photos. You can see a large tree there on top of a car and blocking a road. We don't know if anyone was seriously hurt, but Redding police also say they responded to over 24 storm-related incidents yesterday, including power and tree issues. That storm has passed, and it's made way for the sun to show up. But for how long? Let's get a check of the next weather forecast with meteorologist Jason Michael. Paula, we just keep this fair weather going on across the region and we desperately need it. A day like today is so necessary for us here in Northeast as well as New England because of the cleanup that needs to now take place. Fair weather clouds, that's what we're dealing with today. The pinwheel of this low pressure system again is pulling up to the north, but we also have a stationary boundary with some colder air kind of draped here. And if you look just behind this area of low pressure, you see some scattered snow showers. Uh, uh not making it in here because we're still going to allow for some drier air to move back in. So as we look ahead. Great travel weather for the rest of the week heading into the holiday weekend. We'll also notice temperatures in the overnight Friday morning, perhaps even Saturday morning, roughly around the teens or so. Chance for a few drops, maybe even a few flakes this weekend, but bright sunshine. You think back towards Thanksgiving. We had a lot of sunshine on Thanksgiving. We'll kind of do the same thing again on Christmas Day. But my oh my, look at the bucket full of sunshine that we have across our skies today. Again, it is so necessary for the cleanup that now needs to take place. We're roughly in the mid 40s right now and widespread 40s, in fact. And believe it or not, we're still warmer than average. Boston should be roughly around 41, 42 degrees for this time of year. And all areas are experiencing a little bit of that cooler air mass and also, again, warmer than the average. Next 12 hours, we're going to remain in the mid to low 40s across the area taking us through past sunset and then we start to drop off again getting around the freezing mark roughly around midnight tonight but also settling into the 20s waking up for tomorrow morning as well. Let's fast forward here in our clock. Keep an eye on the clock. You can see in your place on the map again, clearing our skies out overnight tonight. Again, notice these little lines. Those are our wind speeds and also our wind directions indicating again, clearing skies and also cooler conditions expected overnight tonight. And again, because of the warmer ocean waters, we will allow for some cloud cover to kind of billow in on the Cape and the islands waking up tomorrow morning as well. No rain chances are going to be expected for the Boston Metro at least in the days to come again, we get through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even Christmas on a very dry note. So again, allowing for a lot of better travel across the area. Sun and clouds. That's what I'm going to stick with today. As far as our forecast conditions, 47 degrees expected here in the city. A cool breeze again, expecting that west southwest wind turn more northwesterly in the afternoon, still expecting some gusts around 15 miles per hour or so. Overnight lows tonight. Again, look at this because again, you're going to want to prepare tomorrow morning will be dry, but yet will also be cold. Old, roughly around 30 degrees here in the city. Some areas around the freezing mark south and also east of the city. But you also notice something very interesting in the sky as well. And also it gets a, a bit more pronounced once we get into the end of the week. So one hour after sunset, take a look at the sky. You'll be able to see Jupiter It's likely going to get even closer to the moon as we near the end of the week. And even a full moon is expected early next week near Christmas. Highs expected tomorrow back into the 40s we go. As far as the New England and also Northeastern Territory is concerned, great travel weather, not just for Friday, but leading towards Saturday, Sunday, Monday, some chilly overnights, but a lot of sunshine and dry conditions, and we'll take it, Paula. Thanks, Jason. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update.